Hey everybody, welcome to, uh, I don't know, something. <laughs> this is a video that we're doing. Uh, Kyle Hilliard here. Uh, I've got Benjamin Reeves here as well. And then we have comedian uh, Pat Sussmilch, who Hello. is a, he's a local stand-up here in Minneapolis, and you might have seen him on Last Comic Standing. Indeed. Yeah, but he also used to make games, XNA games, indie games, which you have since abandoned. Oh yeah, years ago. Now you're just focused on making people laugh. Just on the stand-up. Right. Because well, you made so many people laugh while making a game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The games you made were so hilarious. They were so hilarious. hilarious. They were like, why are we wasting time with the gameplay? Yeah, so we went to go download it because you made four games. We started looking at some of these other games, and we just yeah, were already was, just sort of laughing can, at some of the names. Yeah, you can see the uh, the range of quality that was available. They spent a lot of time on this one. The Red box Hot writing. Poker. The one I love is this down here. Red <laughs> yeah. Time Miner. And then... Red Time well, Miner's Zombies. Zombies are popular. And clearly this one was uh, sold a lot more is what I'm guessing. Because then he was like, well, why not? Let's yeah. mine it. But don't but don't change the cover. Yeah. Well, don't he, you see the two on there? Oh, we, yeah. Like, look at the font changed for a zombie. Oh, you're right. Oh, that's a huge uh, Not change, for three, right? though. Yeah. Not for three. So yeah, like I remember fall. diving in here a couple times, just like trying not to fart or like some of the ones that floated <laughs> up and were like super popular. Yeah, like Solar was really fun. Um, but I think I played this Relic Raider actually. But yeah, like for the most part, there's like thousands of games in here I've never even seen before. <laughs> so how did, how did you even uh, get into this? Much uh, like your Pat. games, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, my games are terrible, and you're gonna find out soon. Uh, like, how we, did you make them by yourself, or was it you and some friends? Or uh, it was me and two of my friends. I just did uh, what is technically considered the artwork although once you see the games you'll realize they're barely i love this one grabbing physics by the balls <laughs> hey physics get over here oh uh, yes <laughs> ball grab <laughs> well you kind of got me by the physics so well let's look at let's look at one of your uh, games that you really these, yeah, yeah. Wait, these came so, out in like 2010 where I think? uh the first game we made cold war commander which um, <laughs> I think we're getting further Here, hit away. The, hit I think the back getting, button. Uh, I think we're getting further oh, away. Oh, yeah, now go to my like, games. Go okay. to my games in the top I'm left. I'm sorry, there. I don't know anything about video games. Oh, so. Top there. You, oh, oh gosh. so close. So what is happening? <laughs> there you go. So we, we downloaded all yeah, four Cold of War. them. All right, which one do you want to start with here? Let's start. Let's just do them in chronological order. So Cold War Commander. Check out that sweet was box. Was it bailout? Art. Wasn't that yours? That was mine. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, oh, just, so we downloaded it, Ben. Yeah, we, we, we downloaded them. Oh, I love this. <laughs> you were one. here. I think you hit the button. Well, but if it. we were doing chronological order, bailout. But this is in alphabetical order. Oh, chronological. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is that <laughs> <laughs> so? Cold War Commander was your guys' first game. I'm sorry. I don't know. Yeah, how to spell. it's just a it's just a terrible platformer. This was the stupid name we decided to give ourselves, Undercutter Softworks, because we were like, quality's not an option. So let's just make it as cheap <laughs> as possible. <laughs> So this looks like the Berlin Wall. Yeah. Uh, so, the bonus features so are fun. Oh, Do you want me to go in there? Yeah. Massager. Um, oh, those were super popular on the indie, right? Yeah. And um, I remember when we were making this, uh, my friend found oh, yeah. the uh, the code that makes the controller <laughs> rumble. And there's only like five settings. <laughs> Does it feel good? <laughs> Ooh, extreme. My hands yeah. are totally massaged. And so what does this have to do with Cold War Commander? It has exactly. nothing to do with it. But uh, when my friend found the... Uh, Wait, what is this? <laughs> oh, this one. This one's okay, awesome. Okay, wait. Just press the race button. <laughs> Controller, <laughs> Controller's going crazy on the table. Gotta, I don't know if you guys oh, seen. Okay. You got to put them on a table, and then they vibrate and race around. And if you're really drunk or high, it's amazing. <laughs> Can I say that? Or yeah, that's fine. That's it's fine. like which one's going to get to the end of the game. Which one's going to get... Which Who's going to get bored first? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's a race to pass out. Is that what it is? Yeah. So when, so when they... Oh, God. Gorbachev has invaded the United States of Freedom and stole my jelly beans. Now I must tear down the Berlin Wall. So it's a historically accurate. Yeah, P.S. The Russians brought lava. I should probably avoid that. <laughs> look at these look at these graphics. So you're some dude that's in his PJs. <laughs> uh, and... Ronald Reagan. Oh, well, I didn't recognize him. I haven't seen him sleep. Yeah, that's because I had no idea how to do artwork for a game. It's super complicated. You gotta like make all the animations on one sheet. Yeah, I hear you gotta draw every single frame. Oh, yeah, you've gotta draw every frame. Oh, God. Look so at those jelly beans, though. So, for a little background, like Pat, you opened for Kamel Nanjiani, uh, who actually came by the offices recently, and you actually have a stand up where you talk about making these games, which is why I reached out to you to try to have you come by because I wanted I wanted to play them with you because you seem yeah. you seem particularly proud of them uh, as part of your stand up. Proud of them is yeah in a strange way. <laughs> 
I mean, these are terrible games, but it's a surprising amount of hard work to make a terrible game. Oh. So, well, how long would you spend on making a game? Like, how long do you think this, this game probably took like six or seven months? But we we're also none of us, like, my friends didn't know, like, they knew how to program and like. C++ or something. But and it was you and how many people? Uh, two other people. My health's not doing so good here. Man, I'm just... Look at this. It's in so widescreen. There's no way to, like, punch or fight or... No, man. It's the Cold War. You can't fight back. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> Historical accuracy is, was really important for you guys. <laughs> that is yeah. good. Uh, so, t like, because... What, how do you get a game on X, like XNA in, these, in this indie game scene? Like, did you work with Microsoft at all, or...? Uh, they had what was basically a, a website, and you could, um... Boy, it's been years. You can download that Sputnik, by the way. Watch out. They shoot <laughs> They shoot lightning for oh, some multiple reason. multiple Sputniks. <laughs> yeah, and then I don't even know it. Hey! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, watch out for those bricks. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah. Is that going to come he back? warned you. It probably will come back. <laughs> yeah, there it goes. If only we had someone who worked on the game here <laughs> to tell us how it works. Somebody... <laughs> Uh, you keep asking me questions, oh, but I keep getting distracted by this own nonsense. <laughs> well, I'm curious about like the process of doing an indie game on X and A, because like we what? talked a little bit about it before we started, and you were saying that like there were representatives from Microsoft, but yeah, they were like just dudes that probably had other jobs working on like something for the Xbox, and then suddenly someone was like, "Hey, you also gotta uh, work with all these random people on the internet and." <laughs> Make sure their games aren't like racist or something. <laughs> so I think I screwed up in my. No, you got it. You don't. <laughs> you don't even need most of the jelly beans. Oh wait, even, really? They're completely arbitrary. Oh, this... so as soon as it turns green, I'm good to go. Is that what? Yeah. It is? Okay. I think. I don't know. And that thing in the corner is, I <laughs> guess, I your know. health or something. <laughs> does it like get lighter or does it dissipate as you take damage? Or... Uh, it gets. Oh, flashes. More, more red, which oh, I guess. <laughs> jelly beans. It's rosebud. <laughs> rosebud. Oh god, this is terrible. Uh, what? What? Are you, I'm so sorry. there's no checkpoints even. No, because we're not pussies. So this it is, seems like Dark Souls, man. <laughs> seems like making a game is pretty hard. If this, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's it's hard when you're playing some terrible game. Who did the music here? Because uh, this... a friend of ours. She had a keyboard, and that was pretty much <laughs> that was our the big thing. That was <laughs> not qualifications. You got a MIDI keyboard? <laughs> Jump on board this. Uh, so yeah, so just like a, I don't know. I remember reading on like some other website or something like oh xbox is gonna just let anybody get up in the game making business and my friends and i were sitting around on like new year's eve of like 2008 and we were like yeah we can do that which i mean i guess technically we could as you can see but <laughs> you put out four games that's more than i've done yeah well this wall. yeah yeah. Couldn't, so didn't, how, didn't even bring in voice actors. You just had a robotic voice, I guess, huh? <laughs> well, Was that you guys who recorded the voice? Yeah. This is me as Ronald Reagan, as you can hear. Huh, huh, huh. So yeah. the those uh, jelly beans, they look like they're 3D. Yeah. Uh, interesting fact about this game. We originally were going to make it. Uh, it was called Meth Madness. <laughs> and you okay. were collecting uh, spinning little pseudofeds. So you could, uh, you know, make meth. And this was in, like, 2008. Breaking Bad was only in. It's like, oh, that's a switch for something. It's just <laughs> Who knows? Something. I'm it's enjoying how little you know about this game <laughs> that you made. It's been five years. <laughs> You've had a lot of jelly beans since then. <laughs> I've had an extraordinary large amount of jelly beans. They're like bombs or something. <laughs> or something. <laughs> the bombs used to, to just... make sound effects, but the sound, like, kept overrunning some kind of buffer and would crash the game so we couldn't fix it so we're like well fine the bombs are silent now <laughs> there's that lava you guys were talking about yeah, yeah you yeah. gotta watch out for that lava so how am i supposed it's... to get those jelly beans that are over there um yeah, something yeah, yeah. like we don't want to put oh, you on the spot it's gotta be so. this, right? <laughs> i don't i don't know what's going on here i think you gotta like do stuff or something you know <laughs> i don't think you're getting them buddy oh you're fine now anyway so did you get so did you get these representatives from Microsoft? Like, did you get feedback from them, or did they say like did they say yes and no to certain things? Uh, you could basically like ask vague questions in a forum, and if you were lucky, they would answer them. Like there were so many little silly rules that like you have to have like these test cases. Like if for some reason someone decides to tear out their hard drive while they're playing the game, the game's gotta 
like know about and it's like, like some something you should not ever do yeah like our opinion was that if you just tear out your hard drive while you're playing a video game you deserve what happens <laughs> So it's just a lot of weird tech. We had to buy one of those stupid little memory units they were selling for a while because they're like, what if someone's using a memory unit? Oh, so you had to test it. Oh, to, yeah, yeah and weird. then like for some reason you decide to just randomly sign out of, of your account while you're playing. Like, oh, it's got to know that too. It's like, why is that? And if you're using like a Guitar Hero controller. Wait, really? Yeah, it's like, well, if you're trying to play oh. a game that's not Guitar Hero with a Guitar Hero controller, what are you doing? What are you doing here in America? Come on. So they would they're not the ones who said no to your like Sudafed or your Uh meth. they 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 were. They were like, you can't do that. And then I said to my friend, like these little like if I make these little pink things blue, they kinda look like jelly beans. What if you're just like Ronald Reagan? <laughs> that was that was our pitch it just, meeting. It was that just point A to point B, like, well, we can't do meth. Let's do Ronald Reagan. It was it was literally like that, I imagine. <laughs> We were talking about David Cage earlier. Like, I'm sure that's how he writes his games. So, like, I don't know. What if you're like Ellen Page and like there's a ghost? <laughs> Boom, make it. While eating fistfuls of jelly beans. <laughs> All right, should we check out one of your other games? Yeah, let's check out another game. What? What should we do next? Um, how terrible do you want it to get? That's up to you, man. Which? What, what are you? Uh, let's well, let's go. Next, let's go the worst. Well, we were doing chronological order. I believe. Yeah, we're doing chronological. So I think it's gonna be rock, paper, scissors, extreme. Which, uh, which you said you're really proud of. Oh, here I'm we go. proud of that box art. Yeah, is so that you yours? Look at that. You all that? I didn't draw. That's my hand. Is it really oh, yours? Yeah, look at it. That's right some realistic. You, uh, the people graphics. at home, the 14 people that are gonna listen to this at home, can't. I we'll, really we'll wonder. Flash your a hands photo of like. Patrick's hands right now. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, we got more mini games because we were we were so mad that the rumble massages were a thing. <laughs> were you really? <laughs> yeah. Well, because when, I, I didn't finish the story, but we, like I was like, well, what if we just made a game where like we just set the rumble to max, and then you just put it on your bits or whatever? And my friends were like, that's the <laughs> dumbest thing ever. Gamer bits. <laughs> Like, yes, that's, yes, no. That's the dumbest <laughs> thing ever. And they're like, no, we're not going to do that. And then like two weeks later, some guy came out with rumble massage and made over a hundred thousand dollars really? off of like preteens that oh, what? couldn't find like an uneven laundry machine to <laughs> rub up against or something. So so that was the whole mini game. The oh, there's there's others. There were, uh, do you want do you want to play with me? Yeah, you guys should play each other. Oh, not sure. the massage thing. I'm uh, talking about the rock <laughs> well, well fine, machine. I guess then. <laughs> um... I don't even think you can do the, the live stuff anymore. Player two, press it. X. What? All right. Probably. I'm probably playing. Seven. Whoa. All right. We're back. So we had to create an account real quick, which uh, Pat named player one, even, even though he's no, player two. I'm player two. <laughs> it's uh, it's avant garde. You guys wouldn't understand what I'm saying. Of course, here. Yeah. We're not we're not designers. You know, we're not creators. No. We're just critics. So. Um. So. All right. So I'm ready. Oh snap! Whoa. This was actually just we were just testing like particle effects and stuff, and we decided to release it. Yeah. Oh my oh. gosh. Look at those particle effects, though. So Look at that glove. That's what I'm focusing on. Yeah, that is. So a is it a random hand image every time? Well, you should. Uh, no, it corresponds to what you're hitting here. Like. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, I understood that. But I mean, sorry. Do you have different, like, versions yeah. of scissors? Or, uh, like, one, versions? one player's got that sweet glove, and one player doesn't. Oh, that's all the difference? For some reason, we thought that was important. All right. To, well, you got to distinguish. To right? different. Uh. Look at that. Look at that. That's my hand. You jelly? It's <laughs> a good looking hand. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on. You're in my head now. So how much money? Did you guys make any money from any of these games or anything? We, uh, for some reason, made a couple thousand dollars off what? these things. Oh, really? really? Yeah. For each one? Or like total? Oh, total. Yeah. Uh, this was like our... Is that a piece? This was for whatever reason, our, one of our most highly selling games. I don't know why. Oh, this one right here? Yeah. I don't oh, know weird. why. It seemed like... Because they're all a dollar. They're a dollar each. Oh, draw. Yeah. Mm. It seemed like the crazier <laughs> the idea, the like... <laughs> Oh, God. And a lot of other, surprisingly, we were the first rock, paper, scissors game, I think, on the market. And this was like 2010, 2009, you guys were doing this? Yeah, this was uh, 2009. Towards the very beginning of 2010 was our last game when we not so much gave up, but my other friends graduated from college and were like, we're going to go have real lives now. <laughs> and like have a real life it was like whatever fine you guys aren't committed to the cause <laughs> now, i think you told me this like took you a weekend or something 
Yeah, this was just like a week of just not caring. <laughs> not caring. Yeah. Well, it seems like that's that's what I've always wondered is like how hard is it to actually create a game? Because like what, what's the technology that you're using? Like, did you know anything about programming ahead of time? Uh, my friends kind of did because they're both uh, engineers, so they kind of had like some background in programming just for running. I'm gonna bail out. You're not gonna stay the course. No, it well, seems he was losing. So uh, go back to the mini games. Uh, there was one other one. There was the, the mini games are always just us being mad at like other more popular games. No, so is this this was another one that was like climbing yeah. the charts, so to speak. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that a, was your next game, right? Yeah. Ask I mean, a yes or no question. Uh, yeah, what do you and want? What do you want to know? <laughs> Just to advertise our game. <laughs> wait, wait, is that all it's ever going to say? I don't remember. Oh, uh, uh, that was pretty. That was pretty cool looking. Thing, uh, let's right, check right, out. Hold on, let's hold check hold out on. another one. Will Stacy ever date me? Your fiance? I'm thinking, thinking. Yes, it's, <laughs> it's, accurate. it's accurate. accurate. It's pretty accurate. It's accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Will bail out extreme ever come out? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, it's coming, what, it's what were we soon. on? What were we on? Uh, uh, but look at those graphics, though. Look at those graphics. <laughs> some, some I like fancy the spinny wheel. Yeah. Well, all right, what was the last one? Uh, this controller oh, more race. controller race? This is, I just like this. <laughs> <laughs> we are to be making the race. God, what was... You guys have uh, proofers on there? <laughs> and so then it just stops after 10 seconds? Yeah. Just a modification of, of yeah. the last game. Because uh, there, was, there was a stupid like fortune teller thing that was just... There you are. Yeah, I don't. Sus milk. I'm sure Andy and Eric don't care that I mention them. They're all like having jobs and stuff. <laughs> Do they have jobs in video games? No, no. One's an electrical engineer. The other's a mechanical engineer that makes 3D printers for a living. Oh, okay. So, which is fun because I sometimes go over there and look at them and I'm like, poor. man, these are cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, what else, so, so what else do we have? What was the next one here? Bailout. This one. This yeah. is the next one? This, right. is a, this is a solid. This is where you guys really hit your stride. Oh, Sign. what is this? Oh, did it accidentally Kyle. make you sign in as um, player one or something? Here, go ahead. Yeah, sign in. It may have signed you out. Our, our games are a little... Um, weren't entirely A little touch and go. No. All right, so we had another problem. Pat's games keep uh, signing us out or something. I don't know. We, he doesn't know we, what's we, going on. We broke Xbox for a little bit there. And this is Bailout. And this yeah. looks like most uh, modern indie games with its uh, pixelated graphics. Yeah. High back. scores. Fat girl. <laughs> One, two, three. We couldn't think of fake names. That's hard. All right. Move with the Sprint left stick. With Sprint with A. I think there's... You got to... All right, whatever. So you created the art for this? Yeah. So do I want the you money? Want, you want to catch all that? See, the, the point of this game, and I think it says it in the How to Play, is that uh, well, you're a rich man <laughs> collecting <laughs> government bailout money. <laughs> and you got to avoid it's the stockbrokers. It's just falling from the sky. And you uh, got to avoid the stockbrokers. <laughs> yeah. Watch out. Oh, oh come you on. You got to avoid the stockbrokers. Wow. That really tough. Are you good yeah. at this game, Pat? I was. Oh, you, so you can kick them? Yeah, because eventually some homeless people are going to come and try and take your money <laughs> oh, for uh, for medical care. And Mike, and so Microsoft was okay with this one, but not the Matt. Uh, oh, here we go. Yeah, watch out for that homeless. Get him out of there. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I thought yeah. he was going to. No, you just kick him. He's like, oh, I'm you out. Just keep just kicking him. Yeah, and, and like gold is like the gold stuff's like the most worth the most, but it slows you down the most. And. So is there? There's a sprint button, and oh, that's your. Then you go put it in here. here. Yeah, and then you like hit I think X or A or one of the buttons. Oh, there you go. Deposits your cash. Thought, What's this? This looks. Cool. That is a multiplier. Oh, yes. nice. Times seven. Oh yeah. Get you're out of here. You're gonna want to dunk that cat. Oh, oh yeah. new I got high a new, score though. New high score though. I'm pretty good at this. Yeah. Um. So can I kick those guys as they fall? <laughs> no, that would be that would be absurd. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> that, that would be silly. But like if you get like Money. you get gold and then a coin and then cash, you get like a gentleman's combo or something that <laughs> increases. Or if you get just all of each type. Like there's there's oh. some stuff right, I'm gonna try that. going on. One of each. And oh, it, we got a timer. And there's a timer and there's rounds. Uh, so now you can like buy stuff oh, in between. That's kind of cool. Uh, like you can get a bigger wallet for more cash. Get a shield. That's a that's a popular one. All right, I'm gonna do that. Just just an umbrella. Just an umbrella. <laughs> yeah. 
That looks like a taco, by the <laughs> way. <laughs> you only have to kick the homeless people once. Uh, there was one, because it's not actually like Microsoft tests the games. It's like all like a community thing, which yeah. probably seemed like a good idea at the time, but it's actually just some random some random dude in Ireland. Like, there's a, there's a bug in this game where at the game over screen, if you hit like the B button, it lets you keep playing. <laughs> Mo time. Yeah. Uh, like as if you were playing the demo or something like that? Oh, yeah, nice. just something weird. And how many lives do you have here? Uh, you've got the one hit you can get with your umbrella, and then... And then oh. that's it? Yeah. Yeah. The music is just public domain <laughs> uh, ragtime music that we just ran through a, a MIDI thing. Nice. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try to get one of each. So I want to ask you, because in your, in your stand-up, Pat, um, you actually have a joke about making a game about Darwin. Yeah. Yeah, you, like what? So was that? We were, we were going to make. So, okay, so there was a guy that wouldn't let us uh, fix this game because if you want to, like, fix a bug, you have to, like, resubmit the entire game for testing. And there was this guy from Ireland that was like, no, this game's violent. You can't. You can't have <sighs> you, like, kicking away homeless people for medical care. Which, by the way, this was 2009. We're making fun of the bailout and rich people and, like, talking about government health care like a full like two years before occupy wall street so i think it's ahead of the curve i think i should get some credit for uh, that. all right you want to try this i want yeah. to see the master well game. okay first well what was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> i want to hear about you you mentioned oh, a yeah. Darwin game so then so then there was a game we were going to make called charles darwin shut up and evolve and this was a this was a game like i had we had some really cool concept art and stuff made and in it you just play as charles darwin and you can just keep playing and yeah. you um sail down to the Galapagos Islands and then literally just kick flightless birds into the ocean. <laughs> right. And, you know, we had, like, you would, like, collect, like, little, like, DNA points. Have you ever played the... It was a Flash game years ago, Nanaka Crash. Have you ever played oh, that? doesn't sound familiar. It's a strange game where it's some weird anime-based game and you just get punted and, you like, you can kind of control how you bounce and, like, you can get upgrades and stuff. So it's going to be like that. You, like, collect and, like, let's just call them DNA points or something. You, like, get, like evolve cooler wings or something and it was uh really cool and like but like this these guys were like no no you can't you can't make that you can't no one you can't have a game where you're just like throwing birds at stuff <laughs> <laughs> and this was like maybe five or six months before angry birds came out so that that hurt when that came out and <laughs> became a, a thing you guys could have really probably could have used that money probably you could have been yeah. rovio i could have been rovio <laughs> I could have made, uh, you know, Charles Darwin Shut Up and Evolve Rio edition <laughs> or Star Wars. You know, it would have been. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, like, this guy, like, him saying that he yeah, thought just it was a bad one, idea. Yeah, just one guy's like, nope. Was enough for you guys to not, like, receive approval or whatever? Yeah, if one person didn't like it, it wouldn't receive approval. And it was, it was really annoying because it was just if some random dude didn't like you, he could just block everything you ever did. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, that seems kind of broken. It was kind of broken. I don't know if they ever tried to fix it or if they just gave up. So there we was, have you have one more game, right? We downloaded four games, or have we played them all at this point? Shut up, Kyle. I'm doing well. <laughs> okay, sorry. I think this is our most actual like video game game. This this totally seems like a game that could have come out on like the Atari or something. I yeah. feel like it could have been a game, like maybe change up the stages a little bit more or something. But yeah, but it actually kind of is. I don't know. It's kind of cool. I mean, you don't have to be yeah. nice, Ben. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's a piece I, of crap. I, 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 it's you can be mean about it. Like it cost a dollar, which I think people kind of forget. It's like it's a dollar. Like yeah, you're not willing to spend a dollar to kill twenty minutes. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I just do uh. what you mean by saying like this is the most game. I'll tell my friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell all my friends. Wait, was there like mini games in this one? No, I think the oh. How to Play has got some humor in it. I don't remember. So this this was more of a purist game. Like you guys were like, you know, yeah, we we, put we, we gave up on the on the jokes. I think if you just hit A or there's a next. Uh, no, nope, that the red one's the highlight. Yeah, collect these into your wallet. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. This would have been important to see this uh, before. <laughs> Excuse me. This guy, come on. Suicidal. Oh, I get it. So they're diving out of buildings. Yeah. Okay. Because you guys, re you guys remember 2008? It wasn't a great time. No. <laughs> but you guys made purpose. this money hoping that you know everything would. And that's back. back that was, this you. was back when everyone still believed in the bailout. 
the first bailout. I oh, that's why a- <laughs> the bailout was. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's all coming together. I'm finally getting it. Yeah. Time and place. Uh, makes yeah. Let's just difference. play Jurassic Park. Yeah. <laughs> what no, so we got we got one what more. Was right, the other don't one? We? I think it was called. Yeah, it's you can't win. And oh, this one was another. This, this one was just testing. Um, basically, I got like a copy of Adobe Illustrator and was just playing around with it. And we we're like, well, what do we make? Like, oh yeah, this is where we actually tried to get some guy to make the music. Oh, you thought you threw his, and that was uh, him. Yeah. Oh, interesting. So he's, we're like, we can't pay you, and he's like, I don't care, just put my thing. We brought this back. Is that Gmail address still work? <laughs> if it does, I don't remember the password. I don't know. If anybody going. has any questions for yeah. Matt, uh, Pat, yeah. just send it to undercuttersoftware.gmail.com. I got a. I'm gonna test that out. Yeah. All right. So, so how, this ma- was, how many? Uh, how many of these like games did you sell? Like you said, you made some money. Do you know like a number of how many we were did. downloaded? This is just one of these. This is like a game you get like an arcade where you just got to try and stack the stuff up. Okay. And this was just practicing with. Um, oh, interesting. With like post processing and stuff. Like as you can see, that sweet wave that comes out. Am I just supposed to be stacking it in a straight line like that? Yeah. You're supposed to try and just stack them up. Oh, and then you get less. You have fewer. Oh, blocks. Yeah. shoot. Okay. Oh, oh, that gets harder. Yeah. That game's fancy looking. Okay. It is. I was. I was. You know trying real hard to do artwork and I was starting to get kind of decent at it and like actually some of the artwork for that Charles Darwin game actually looked like a pretty cool like watercolor style which was huge at the time uh, so what so how did you get into comedy because that's the other sort of thing I wanted to ask you about because like you you were doing this I don't know if you guys actually uh, had hopes to make games full-time but then you kind of disbanded and now you're doing stand-up I don't think we ever actually thought we were gonna do it full-time there was a lot of people on like the forum that were like yeah we're gonna do this full-time and like we're renting office space and stuff and we're like that's the dumbest thing you could ever do <laughs> why rent yeah why rent office space? you don't need an office space you just need like your friend's apartment and a bong and you can make video games <laughs> Actually, most of the time when we made video games, it was just us on weekends, like sitting in my friend's apartment, playing like Left 4 Dead, being like, "Man, we should make a game like this." And then, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Let's just do that. Yeah, just make kinda, Left 4 Dead, you guys. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of Left 4 Dead. I can see that. Did yeah. uh, Did you have another job at the time? Uh, I had started uh, stand up in 2007, and I was a debt collector at the time, and which was a pretty decent paying job and, and saved up a bunch of money. So at this point, I was actually just technically unemployed and just rolling off savings. Just making games. Just making games, you know, just getting out there living life. Ah, this isn't going well. Uh, there, so they wouldn't let us do no. the Charles Darwin game. And there's another game we were um, working on that I had some pretty decent. Oh, wow. What was puzzle mode? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, how do you solve this puzzle? <laughs> Carefully. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, you got it, bro. Oh man. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah. So can I like? I whoa, think that's the end that of that. Be, that's gonna screw myself. Oh yeah, that's not. <laughs> that's no good. <laughs> so puzzle mode is something I completely forgot about. <laughs> Huh. This is actually kind of a cool idea. So I'm totally like boned here, though. Yeah, you're totally boned. Like, if we were gonna do this, it probably would have made more sense to let you know what shapes were coming up. <laughs> yeah. What? Uh... <laughs> that would have been helpful for sure. Yeah, definitely helpful. Definitely helpful. But again, did so. we didn't know what we were doing. We were just kids, man. You didn't know what you were doing. We were just kids. You had no idea. We were just kids. Hey, look at that. So do you think yeah. XNA was like a success? Or, so I guess, or was it called... XNA think, was the, the development software, and it was just called like indie yeah, games, right? Yeah, you used the programming language. It was C Sharp, which I don't remember anything about it. But I think that's still... I think the XNA framework is still used, right? Oh, I don't minute. know. I think I think it's abandoned uh, at this point. I think sometimes when I'm installing a game on, on Steam, it's like, here's the... Uh, installing the XNA framework. Like, I think it's still used for a lot of more independent games. Mm-hmm. Like I remember when we were like testing out this game, there was another guy that was uh, testing out. So, cause it was testing out his game, which was uh, the dust and Elysian Taylor. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. yeah that and, started like, as like an Xbox Live. Yeah. And like, I guess what someone at Microsoft, system. you know, took notice of that and was like, Hey, we're going to make this an arcade game. And he's like, sweet. Yeah. He's probably like sweet. And then, and then it didn't come out until like another like three or four years. Oh so, yeah. He worked like, on it for a long time. That was probably, yeah, but it went well for him, right? It was just him, right? I think it was just he, one guy. Ah, oh, dang it! Yeah, the game was the game did well. I mean, it was a successful game. Yeah, I have. I liked it. I played it all the way through. 
Yeah. You know what? I like this puzzle mode. I think it's got promise. I think it's got promise. I think this could have like developed into something. Yeah. Get the band back together, man. <laughs> Sometimes I want to. What but... are you guys doing this weekend? <laughs> Uh, not you know we're actually hanging out this weekend. You know, really? let's make some games. What do you what do you want? What do you want to see? What do you want to see? It. Do it up, man. You want to? Uh, I want to see this fully formed. Into a, yeah, yeah. Just give like make it so the blocks move slower. They, so yeah. that's the that's the big thing for this me. This is a thing we just kind of tacked on at the end. No, I think you're right though. If like you knew what blocks were coming up, but that would have been a whole amount of programming, and my friend was uh, <laughs> oh, moving to Norway. So was he like, really? Yeah. So we're like, all right, let's just well, release have it. Fun. And we were also Norway. just tired of all the the nonsense of the whole X and A thing of just having like games, and then like one guy be like, nope. Yeah, that seems That'd really be frustrating. frustrating. Yeah, because because the, there's a game that came out called Angry, uh, yeah. Angry Barry, where you play as Barack Obama, like oh, real originally plays president, whatever, but. <laughs> Did, they, did you collect jelly beans in that one too? No, you just like fight off like old white ladies and stuff. Really? <laughs> yeah. And there's um, it's probably on here. We can play the demo. <laughs> if you just want to stop playing my games, I don't care. We can just make fun of other people's stuff. Uh, yeah. Here, let's let's pause it here and let's go grab uh, maybe one more game to play that Pat didn't work on. Yeah, one that you remember liking. All right, so we're taking a look at uh, Angry Berry now, which we were just talking about. Yeah. Which, uh, which was frustrating, you said, because uh, because you, were, you mean, were getting shot down for some of your games, but then this came out, right? Yeah, and like it's not. There's only some like vague things in here that are like, come on, that's kind of racist. Loading the good stuff. So that's, new. That's, fine. that's super racist. So would you guys like pay attention to what went up all the time? Like every week, where you're like, oh, this went up. Let's yeah, because uh, you. Uh, the only way you could get a game passed is that. Whoa, if, um, what is this? That is a uh, some animation. Of, oh, an, of an oh. ass. Of an ass. I was like, yeah, this is... Is that Barack Obama? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, but you guys would keep an eye on what was coming out? and Yeah, well, you kind of had to because the only way to uh, get games <laughs> through the process was that you'd have to play... You'd have to, like, Approve download other games. games and then, like, have, like, a weird thing where, like, your Xbox and your PC are synced up and... um you know, you just play them and just try and break them. And, like, if they didn't break, you would, like, all right, I passed this game. And then, like, there'd be, like, a, like, it was, like, a weird bar. And it was, like, all right, if this bar fills up, then the game will be released. And then you would eventually it reached a point where you would just kind of form, like, coalitions with uh, with other people. And be, like, all right, I'll just, I'll pass your game if you pass my game. Which I think they weren't expecting that to happen. Oh, I totally get that. It's because it really reached a point where people weren't even really testing games. So there's no jump punch or jump kick. Oh, there, there is, is a jump kick. Yeah. And you no, were mentioning no a minute punch. ago about like the file size affected how much you could charge for the game. Yeah, if you were over like 50 megabytes, you'd have to charge at least Whoa. like two or three dollars. Um, so that's why this game is uh, is over 100 megabytes. So it's like three dollars, which three dollars is isn't that's an, that's a lot to to charge for a game made by amateurs. Because you're saying that, like, because uh, your games that we bought today mm -hmm. uh, were 99 cents, and that was something that came later, right? To be yeah. able to sell them for 99 cents. Yeah, when it first came out, I think three dollars was the minimum, and that's why I think Cold War Commander would have done better if it wasn't. Because for the longest time, it was three dollars until they finally changed the price structure. We're like, finally, we can make it a dollar, which is about what it's worth. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so it was kind of weird. And I think if you're over like 150, you had to charge like five dollars which was kind of an absurd amount considering you for five dollars you can buy games made by like actual studios not just dudes sitting around in their apartment right and um and this game i mean is actually girl power pretty pretty whoa yeah she's got a taser like you're collecting acorns like come on if you don't get that reference but um like a lot of this game i i i I like. Actually, I kind of like the the animations. Pretty cool. Yeah, whoever like it's it's kind of interesting because there's some games that would come out and you'd play and be like, all right, these guys, they're gonna go somewhere. Like you know, they're gonna go somewhere. Like with the guy that made Dust, you're like, this is, you know what you're doing. I don't know who that guy is. <laughs> but we know so, Dust. It's a good game. So. so this combo is is pretty good here. This like punch kick combo. Yeah. Punch kick. It's all in the mind. <laughs> There's just uh, to refill your health in this game. Um, 
Oh. You'll find little boxes that say like ship to Kenya or something. Let's see if we can find and one. And then you break them open and then you get fried chicken that gives you health, which is <laughs> That uh, seems offensive. Pretty offensive, but like that Irish guy was like, No, I'm cool with this, but then <laughs> and bailout where you're kinda <laughs> You know, kicking away, or the idea of, of ki- launching a bird with your but feet. kicking a homeless dude, yeah, yeah but like kind of kicking away a four pixel homeless dude. He's like, nope, can't have that. That's violent. Can't have that. Or like, they just have different sensibilities in Ireland, or I like, assume. Or like punting cartoonish birds. Can't do that. And there was well, there was a game we were making um, what? We, that we wanted Bobby to make Barry. that we kind of got some prototyping done. It was called Chub Lifter. Okay. Have you, have you ever played Choplifter for like the arcade, or like the old Sega Master System? I oh, think they I made know. a Sega Genesis version. It was like an overhead kind of perspective. It wasn't overhead. It was a side scroll, and you were just okay. uh, you were, you know, you were like collecting POWs in like the first Gulf War in a helicopter. So we're just calling it Choplifter, and you drove a uh, like a hel- a de- like an old Russian Chinook helicopter, and you'd have to like pick up. Oh, <laughs> you'd have to like pick up. Like rocks and stuff to be able to break down the walls to people's apartments, because uh, they were they were like absurdly obese, <laughs> okay, and needed medical attention. So you'd have to like break down their walls to get them out and take them to the hospital. So the the whole premise of the game was built on kind of a pun, kind of a pun, maybe. Uh, Whoa! I, I think you ran out of time. Did after, you break the game after eight minutes? The uh, or maybe you broke the game. Maybe you broke. They're just too good. You broke. You're too good at this yeah, game. Yeah, it's frozen. You're too good at it. Whoa. Well, you know what? I think this is a good place to end it. Pat, you gave us uh, some awesome background on X and A. Uh, Did I? Yeah. <laughs> this is <laughs> genuinely job. like this is all stuff I've been curious about. Like the fact that you guys actually were making money and like people were downloading your game. Like that's all interesting to me. <laughs> okay. Me too. Okay. All right. <laughs> I, I think we'll have readers who are interested. You're, you're very surprised that I found. I'm I'm entirely surprised. I felt like I didn't say anything this whole time. Uh, well, where can people find you if they want to hear you tell jokes? The internet? Uh, the internet. I got my last comic standing clip and like some other clips. Twitter. Um, yeah, if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at P Susmelch, P S U S M I L C H, which is not the most easy to remember. but And they can come to Minneapolis, watch you at Acme? Yeah, they can come to Minneapolis, watch me at Acme. I'm actually going to be in LA for the next uh, 10 weeks. So, so don't come really? to Minneapolis. So go to LA. Yeah, go to LA if, it's, if you're watching this within a couple days of August 19th. <laughs> within 10 weeks, though. Within 10 weeks, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, thanks for coming by, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, I never want to leave. This All is right. magical. You're going to be stuck here. Okay. Yeah, you're not allowed to leave. Actually, we locked the door. door yeah. Oh, cool. Is that how you guys work here? You're just <laughs> yeah, that's how we gain new employees. <laughs> There you go. Let's uh, end it there. All right. Thanks. All right. Thanks, Pat. Bye. <laughs> Why am I saying bye? <laughs> bye. It's not a phone call. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> okay, bye. Kyle, did you guys have a cat? Yeah, I a just have a cat. You have yeah. a cat? It's a picture of my cat right there. Okay. What did you take that with? Uh, the Xbox 360 a, camera? A flip phone? Wow. Did you take that with a flip phone? A what? A what? Phone? A flip phone I from think, I Motorola Razor up. from <laughs> ten years. I took ago. it with like a Game Boy camera, <laughs> and colored it in with marker. <laughs>